Okay, um, I made a major mistake, which I did not realize was a mistake. Um, but I do now, and it will probably result in having to clean out the entire system. So, um, when I, as always, I have always used sphagnum moss in these systems. Um, and that's, that's what this is. This is sphagnum moss. But apparently there was something in the moss that I used which is smothering the whole system. And I don't think that this is, I think this came off of the sphagnum moss because when I first saw it, when I first saw it, it was collecting on the, it's collecting like this. But, so I think this is the, the sphagnum moss is, is the culprit. I think there was just something in the moss that um, really, really likes this environment. So I'm thinking that the whole system is going to have to be cleaned. Um, I need to put the, I need to put two of these panels back um, to block the light because you can see that this is green. That stuff is growing all over the inside, and it is killing or has killed the um, the duckweed that I wanted to grow in here. I'm not seeing any duckweed anymore. Um, I don't know if it's still there, but I'm not seeing any of it. And some of this is probably just from, from the air and so on, but I think the majority of it is from the, um, duck, from the moss that I used. Uh, this one is relatively clean. Um, once I realized that there was a problem, I started cleaning it out. Anytime I saw this stuff, getting it out of here. Um, but this one doesn't have any plants in it, so it's easier to clean out than some of the others. Um, what my plan is, um, and I don't know if it will work, but see, what I, the, problem, the problem is that I've already got things growing in the hydroponics. Um, I've used the sphagnum moss in the past, but it was always in sealed buckets. Um, my guess is that this is a high phosphorus environment for whatever reason. And so it just thrives. That, that goop stuff just thrives here. Um, interestingly, it thrives most where there is the highest concentration of garbage in the water, which is that bottom tank. But you can see that the water is turning green. A couple of days ago, it was very, very clear. Um, then this one is green, but not as green as this top one. This one is clearer than the other. And then you get to this one, and it is completely contaminated. So um, I have some ideas on how to take care of the problem. I'm not sure whether it will work. Um, but the first one is to create a true filter system so that none of this garbage can get through. Um, from one tank. That didn't sound good. Um, so none of this garbage can get through from one tank into another. Um, I'm afraid that the pump is probably struggling right now because the water is full of this gunk. Um, and you can see, I don't know if you can see down there, the container that I have the pump sitting on is also going green. So I need to do something about this probably sooner rather than later, but um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. Like I said, major mistake. Um, first of all, using the sphagnum moss because I knew, I've, I've grown it before. Um, I knew that it was probably contaminated. I used it anyway because I always have. Um, and the filters... Um, the filters are full. You can see the white material. Uh, it's just full of that gunk. So, 
Uh, the other mistake I made was not putting up the barrier, the light barrier, before I put the water in. But as usual, learning process. Um, I can't quite reach over there to get the stuff that's growing along the edges. But I have a little bit of um, I have a little bit of duckweed left, but it's not a lot and I don't want to risk it until this problem is taken care of. I'll talk with you later.